As we begin this video, we're driving up 65 north, heading toward the city of Marshall. Now, what we're going to do is show you a few attractions here in this video. So, one thing you want to be aware of is just up ahead, you're going to see a sign that you almost can't see, indicated by the arrow, that tells you there's a scenic overlook overhead. Now, if you pull over to the left, you can pull in and you can have a picnic lunch, or there's a coffee shop we're going to show you here, but um, this is a really cool overlook. You can see across the valley where Marshall's located, and um, there's a sign here that tells you about the geology of the area. The sign you see posted talks about the geology of the road cut, which is across the road from the overlook. And it reads, this road cut exposes the upper Fayetteville shale and the overlying lower Pitkin limestone deposited in a shallow sea covering the southern Ozark region as the Mississippian ge geological period ended. As that sea regressed, the alternating Fayetteville black shale and fine green limestone layers forming the lower part of the exposure were succeeded by layers of lighter colored, shallower water, coarse grain Pitkin limestone, which is exposed near the top. This is a couple of photos we took looking across the valley from the overlook. The valley is where the city of Marshall is located, and you can see for miles and miles from this vantage point. Located right beside this scenic overlook is the Rock and Java Coffee House. There's also a cafe where they serve daily specials. Uh, you can get lunch or you can get something to go. Now this is the coffee menu. And then they also have a daily lunch special menu. And on this day, there's the Mongolian beef and I had it. Um, this is the gift area where you can buy some gifts made of local rocks and some fossils different things that you can buy there and this is the Mongolian beef I had that day and it was really excellent as we leave the Rock and Java coffee shop you can see the geology in the road cut that was talked about on the sign at the overlook as we drive further up highway 65 we come to the city of Marshall there's another attraction here you may want to stop and see one of the last remaining operating drive-in theaters in the state. You want to turn right at the Fred store and the drive-in will be on your left after a short distance. Now when you leave Marshall, look for the barn up here on the left, and that'll be the signal that you need to be alert for the small pull-off from the highway on the right. This is a spring that many people pass by and never even know is here. Now this first photo shows Bill at the bottom of the hill where the pipe for the spring ends beside the roadway. If you climb the trail a short distance, you'll see a cistern. Climb the trail a little further and you'll see where the spring comes out of the hillside. Now this photo shows me on the trail as we climb to the top near the bluff. At the base of the bluff is a small cave in the side of the bluff. So. The next time you're driving north on Highway 65, you might want to consider stopping to see some of these sites. If you want to see more of our videos, please subscribe to our channel. You can also search for our page and like it on Facebook to see other information and posts from our blog at lostinthozarks.com. And as always, thanks for watching.